In today's lesson, we are learning to understand that humans and some other animals have skeletons and muscles for support, protection, and movement. Question. What is a skeleton and what does it do? Just spend uh, a short time to list three to five ideas that you can think of that what, what sort of things a skeleton does. Now watch this short video using the link on the screen and record two facts in your book. Question. What helps your skeleton to keep in shape? List two to three ideas in your book. Watch the video below about muscles. Click on the link. Record two facts in your book. What do muscles do to help the skeleton? What is a vertebrate? Watch the video below. Click on the link. Record one fact in your book. What is an invertebrate? Watch the video below. Click on the link. Record one fact in your book. What is an endoskeleton? Chat with someone in your house or write something down. See what the answer is on the next screen. Answer. It is an internal skeleton such as the bony or skeleton of vertebrates with cartilage. What is an exoskeleton? Think of some ideas, write them down. What could it be? Use the word X as the prefix to see if that will give you an idea about the skeleton. The answer is on the next screen. Answer. It is the external skeleton that supports and protects an animal's body. What is a hydrostatic skeleton? It's a really interesting word. What do you think it could be? Look at the prefix or the first part of the word hydrostatic. The answer is on the next screen. Answer. It is a flexible skeleton supported by fluid pressure. Fun facts. 80% of the world's known species are invertebrates. They form the basis of numerous food chains. For example, 80% of plants rely on invertebrates for pollination. One pipistrelle bat will eat around 8,000 insects in one evening. Some look very similar some look very different. One thing they all have in common is that none of them have a spine or backbone. Key words. These are some of the words that you'll come across while studying our non-chronological report text. Classification. Grouping living things into categories based on similarities. Vertebrate. Animal with a backbone. Invertebrate. An animal without a backbone. Mammal. Animals covered in fur or hair that give birth to, to live young. Reptile. Animals covered in dry scales that lay leathery eggs. Fish. Animals covered in wet scales that lay jelly-like eggs. Bird. Animals covered in feathers that lay hard eggs. Task. Over the next few slides, you will be classifying a range of animals by comparing their skeletons. Record your answers in your book. Animal cards. Over the next few slides, there will be pictures of a range of animals 
and these are the list of animals that you'll be trying to classify. You've got a scallop, Macau, you've got giant stick insect, a peacock, a viper, a snake that is, monitor lizard, crab, piranha fish, angelfish, giraffe, meerkat, ant, cabbage, white butterfly, orb, weaver, spider, wasp, beetle, snail, earthworm, centipede. Using each one of these animals, can you classify it as a vertebrate or an invertebrate? Using all six of these pictures, can you classify these animals as a vertebrate or invertebrate? Remember to record them in your books. These are the last six animal cards. Can you classify these into a vertebrate or invertebrate? Remember, vertebrates are ones with a backbone, and an invertebrate is without a backbone. Remember to post your work online so we can mark it. Well done, everyone.